July 2023 is set to be a record breaker as the hottest month on record, possibly the warmest in human history. A few of the highs that have been set this month, we had 52.9 degrees Celsius in China, 48.2 degrees Celsius in Sardinia, 39.6 degrees at night in Algeria and sea temperatures of 37.2 degrees in Florida. Now we have been building up to this for some time. If we have a look at this graphic, then the black line shows daily global surface temperatures this year since January and it's above average all year, building up to the peaks that you see there in July. Now this new all-time record is actually the culmination of the heat waves we've seen on land and also in the oceans. Here's Samantha Burgess from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. So all of this additional uh, warm air and uh, warm surface water is kind of feeding back on each other. So we're seeing record temperatures um, warmer than we've ever seen before. You may have heard that 2023 will be warmer because the El Nino phenomenon is back in the Pacific, part of a natural cycle on our planet. But scientists say it's actually too early for that. It's not El Nino yet. So the expectation is that with the El Nino developing right now, we will get warmer temperatures to come. And the expectation is that the temperatures for 2024 may be even warmer still. Indeed, the seasonal forecast for the rest of the year does show continued above average temperatures over land. So what can we do? Well, world leaders will have to act quickly at the G20 and COP28 summits in order to slash emissions of CO2 and methane into the atmosphere as soon as possible. Doing so will slow down the rate of warming, but there's no instant remedy. The heat and the weather extremes that we have been experiencing are with us for decades to come.